We're here at the Rumble Sports. We started this from nothing really, and then as a Scandinavian MMA site, they awarded us Gym of the Year two years in a row, even though we are competing with Gustafsson's gym in Stockholm. We've just been consistently producing good fighters. That's why people want to come here and train. Getting a workout in, just get my hands flowing with the coach too. I met him through an online forum, had some questions uh, regarding MMA when I was still doing karate. He started sending me like videos, uh, wearing like a karate kid headband, had like big, cur big curls flopping around and we do like kicks into there and he wanted me to like evaluate. It was kind of difficult, but um, one thing led to another and he moved the cup making him sort of train together. And that's like what, almost like 11 years ago now. I do feel I have the best sparring partners here. Going to train at the big gyms in the States, the league coaches won't have as much time for you. Maybe you will end up like fighting for the attention with the other fighters. The sparring and some of the big gyms in the States are pretty rough. We're a smaller gym, we know each other pretty good, so we don't feel the need to boost our egos by knocking each other out. I'm definitely taking this fight seriously, but with Cummings, Zach doesn't intimidate me. I'm just excited to fight. If I go in and perform my best, I'll take the win. Of course, MMA is a rough sport and it's very masculine and very raw. I need to be able to relax as well, go out, have some fun. When I was a kid, I had like a small disposable camera and always went about grabbing photos. When I moved to Copenhagen, I was hanging out with a friend who brought his uh, DSLR. I picked it up, took a couple of shots, and then I was hooked. Hey, man. So my good mate Bertram he used to skate a lot. So I thought I just might call him up, get some cool shots. Even though I'm a little hungover, it's good to come and exercise. Yeah. Today. I'm in school? Yeah. Nice, it's last time. The music scene in Denmark and especially Copenhagen is, is pretty big. We got a lot of Danish and local artists. It's always nice to go take pictures of the friends you know that are playing around town. It's a nice way of like blending my hobbies. A friend of mine, he's having a, this record release. He's just having a little session here at the record shop. Uh, I've known him for a lot of years. Uh, he used to be a concert photographer as well. In Roskilde the festival this summer, Nicholas was with us uh, as a part of the crew, as a photographer. So he's like a, a part of the extended family and uh, we're all extremely proud of him. I went to uh, Ireland, to Dublin, to see the fight last time and uh, this time I won't be able to see it, but uh, I'll be uh, cheering on from uh, a bar somewhere here in Copenhagen. I know you're going to make us proud. Yeah. I'll do my best. Living here in Copenhagen and having everything close to me means a lot to me. This is where I feel home and this is where I feel I can get the best training. Right now I feel like everything I need is right here. I want my UFC career to lead to a belt. I want to grab that title. Maybe it's going to take a couple of years, but that's my goal.